live on them. And they say stuff like, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. And guess what you do in the Bible? You put it right there. You don't need to read it. Maybe read one or two scriptures, and that's it. Tell you, man, it's simple. It's simple. But the weapons are confusing people, confounding people, because they're looking for the desires of the flesh. They got all this, they got that. Why we got that? We don't look curse. It's hard to operate God's laws in this world. You ain't going to have the same amount of stuff as these world people. You're not. We over here in this land for a punishment. Colin Kaepernick, we over in this land for a punishment. Understand that. Deal with that. But uh, keep jumping down to verse 35. Verse 35. Don't let these weapons keep us from the word of God. Keep us from God. Period. Go ahead. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate us? So he's talking about a person. Who? Go ahead. Shall tri tribulation or distress, or persecution, a famine, of nakedness, a perilous, of soul. This stuff will separate you. Famine. I'm hungry, man. All I got is this pork chop. All I got is this turkey bacon sandwich. I mean, not turkey, uh, <laughs> this pork bacon sandwich, man. That's all I got. And all they do is, hey, he called me up. Hey, Jeff, you got something to eat? I got something. Come on. But no, you got some of the pride. I want him to know that I ain't got food in my house. Pride. That's what we're here for, brothers and sisters. Yeah, if you only believe me, I'm going to find you something to eat. And it won't be this swine. It won't be violating God's law. Period. But this is what the people do. Don't get that pride in you thinking that you know it all. I can't let anybody see that I'm struggling. Mm. So many people do that. I'm one of them. Go ahead, brother. 36. As it is written, for thy sake, we all are killed all the day long. This is what kill you all day long. All this prideful stuff, tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril. And in the sword, any sword, which is the word of God, don't kill you because if you know this stuff and don't do it, you're a sheep for the slaughter. He's going to kill you even faster than the ones that don't do it. Because you know it, I know it. I know you know it because I'm talking to you. Go ahead. As it is written, for thy sake we are all killed all the day long. Yes, sir. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Counted as what for the slaughter? Sheep. Sheep. We just like the sheep out there, counting for the slaughter. You know, a sheep, you know, you can eat a sheep anywhere. Anywhere. But God said, my sheep shall know my voice. There were sheep that have knowledge. But the sheep that don't have knowledge, which are us, that's always let our flesh leads us with lustful and desire, desirable feelings. Satan got those weapons out there for us. He keep leading us in the wrong direction. That's why we're still at the same level. We've been having the same problem from year after year after year. It's a merry-go-round because you haven't, haven't developed the mindset of the knowledge of God to fight this, this weapon of Satan. And me. I'm not leaving myself out. I'm still struggling with certain things. So this is what God tells us. We are sheep for the slaughter if we don't have the word of God in our mind. Go ahead, bro. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Yes, sir. Through him that loved us. I know we heard that scripture before. Mm -hmm. We are more than conquerors. They ain't reading none of that stuff, but <laughs> yes, we are more than conquerors. The ones that are conquerors is the ones that know something. We're going to go through this persecution, but we don't have to side with them. That's right. We don't have to go with them. We're going to be persecuting that weapon, going to form up, y'all. But it don't has to have to prosper. The way it prospers, if you let it prosper. That's right. Go ahead. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, mm -hmm. nor height, nor death, mm -hmm. death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. They can't separate you when you know it. 
When you know the word of God, the weapons cannot separate you. If you led away, you led away by what? Your own lust. That's what the book says. So I hope y'all understand this. We can be done with this lesson. So take note of this. Go back and read these scriptures and make sure that you find the meaning to those definitions of words that we read. And uh, I think it was correct then. Find the definition. That's, that's something you can do today instead of being on Facebook and YouTube on Saturday. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>